Hello every YouTube buddy, here we are in the Mortal Win again with Elder Scrolls Online last patch and uh, we are on the second part of uh, the quest that we did on the last episode and this one is called Of Faith and Family and we need to find a way to contact Veja if you remember, okay? That's the daughter of the council, so that's what we need to do and we need to speak to Asher, so let's do that. Did I mention how much I hate being a messenger? Makes me wish I had a writ so I could kill something. Anyway, Nayu wants to talk to you. Said you'd know what it was all about. Okie dokie, so where do I need to go? Here. This should explain everything, sort of. It's a map. We change locations every other day for security reasons. Just in case it falls into the hands of House Redarin or someone else with an axe to grind with our organization. And what do I do with this? Never had to use a map before. <laughs> Amateurs. This one leads to a key to one of our safe houses and another map. The first map, it depicts a particular town, kind of like this one. Hint, hint. The rest, well, you'll have to figure that out on your own. Okay, we will try to decipher the map ourselves. Look, I know you're helping Councillor Eris, but if that map. And of course, you can carry on talking to him. I'm not going to. Now, how are we going to do this? We need to use the Moracton map, so let's do that. Right, and <laughs> I think I pretty much know what this is actually, and let me quick find my bearing, shall we? But I think that I know where this place is, and I think it's here by the docks, and down here is a little boat, I think it's this one, and we are going down there actually, okay? So I'm going to show you the actual uh, location on the map, okay? And this is the actual location on the map. If you scroll off, off or zoom out, that's what I mean, okay? That is what it is. That's in this uh, square, right on the top right corner. I think this is going to be the location, guys. And I think it's right here. There we go. There's the location. Let's do it. Okay, so we found uh, another map and a key. Let me get rid of this one. Okay, and we need to use other map. What is this? This is behind a big tree. Right. Well, I am afraid to say that I don't know pretty much where that one is going to be, so I need to go around. And we are looking for a big tree, okay? That's a big tree here. Let's do this one, shall we? You look here on the left, that's pretty much it, isn't it, guys? That big tree in there. Looks like it. Do you think so? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. And it's just behind it. It's like a... Some type of... Uh... Yeah, I think it's around here somewhere. Is it around here somewhere? Not too sure, guys. Not too sure. Maybe. Oh, yeah. There we go. Here it is. Second location. There you go. So, this is going to be the exact location. Okay, guys? Right here. Okay? Behind the inn. So, there you go. There is. Right there. Okay. We found this. So, now we need to talk to Naru. about all the subterfuge but we can't be too careful when it comes to security around here well that's fine but can we meet with Veja now don't be so eager my darling it reveals too much about your ultimate intentions but yes Veja would very much like to meet with you you intrigue her and your connection to her father could prove beneficial once she knows she can trust you and how do I prove she can trust me ready in records House officials keep track of everything. Incidents, commendations, births and deaths. Whether important or mundane, they detail it all in their registry. Bea believes the registry contains information about her brother, Ulron. So she wants us to steal the House Red Run registry. Don't sound so offended. You had to know your hands were going to get dirty eventually. You are dealing with assassins and politicians, after all. The local keeper of records, Lord Drano, is away. 
So security at his townhouse should be light. Okay, so we need to steal the registry from Lord Drono's townhouse, okay? So we got that one. Okay, so uh, let's do that as well. And of course, remember to uh, loot everywhere as well, guys, if you want. Obviously, because I'm doing the video, I'm going to hurry up a bit. I don't want it to uh, drag too much because otherwise it gets really boring, as I said in previous uh, videos. But there you go. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So uh, we need to find what we need to find. Uh, oh, we need to uh, steal the Red Rat Registry. And I'm going to mount very quick. And I think it's going to be around here somewhere. If we can find that. Is it? Oh, it's up here. There we go. There you go. So nothing we need to do is to uh, lockpick this door. So be careful the guys don't see you, guys. Because if they do, they will arrest you. Oops. Okay, so we need to figure out where is this place. Now, you can see guards in there, and you can use these baskets to actually hide. Okay, so remember that as well. And where is this going to be down, I guess? So we need to wait for that thing to move away, and then we can come down. Okay? That's the deal. And if they catch you or they see you, just run and, and find a basket to get into. Okay, it's one in there. Right, I think that we can sneak past now. The guard is on its way, intruder. And we can pass this one as well really quick. Okay, so we got it. Now we need to get out as quick as we can as well. Okay, so find a basket like this one, and you'll see how she actually goes. There you go. Simple. It's very simple. So let's get out of here quick, and we did it. We did it, guys. Right, cool. So we are out now on the open. And we need to come back to this uh, place again. And it's going to be, remember, behind the inn. Okay, this is the building. Oh, scum like you belongs on the bottom. Right, come on, a scum like me. Now get your stink away from me. Okay. And we need to talk to a uh, Nario again. And there she is. Still alive, I see. And since you're here, that means you weren't captured and hauled off to a Redwin dungeon. Good for you. Were you able to acquire the registry? And does it contain any information about Bea's brother Ulran? Well, the book mentions that someone named Ulran was stripped off his rank and exiled. Ulran was exiled? That can't be right. He's an exemplary officer and a good man. Plus, he's the son of a counselor. Why in oblivion would House Redren banish one of their brightest stars? Well, that is what he says in the registry. I can see that. There has to be more to the story, but I'm not sure how we get it. Still, you proved you could be trusted, and you admirably performed this task. So I suppose I should let you meet with Vea now. So where is she? There's an abandoned cave along the coast. It's in the swamp and smells like rot, which makes it the perfect place to hide. This okay, so there you go. We need to go to that place. You can carry on talking to her if you like, as always. Let me check in the map real quick, shall we? Where we need to go. And uh, she's going to be in the swamp. So let's look for a swamp. And it's going to be right here. Okay. So uh, the best bet, I think, is to come down here. Okay, here we are. Let's mount and uh, find the swamp as quick as we can, really. And uh, we need to uh, do what? We need to find that Ulran guy, isn't it? That's what we're doing. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure anymore. But uh, there you go. They can make this quest a bit complicated as well, you know. Which, in a way, is a challenge. But sometimes it's a pain in the butt. So there you go. So where are we doing? 
What are we doing in here, guys? Right, okay, so we need to get out of here. Let's stay there. And we are going to have to... Let me see, let me see. I think the best way to go is going around this um, line of mountains in here. I think it's going to be the best thing to do, I think. So let's do that very quick. And I really hope that we are going to be able to find a way through this place in here. I think it's going to be here somewhere. I think I'm going to go from behind as well. But there you go. Um, I take the opportunity to be galloping with my little tiger or whatever it is to say, uh, you know, thank you so much to all my subscribers for being there every single episode. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate that, guys. And uh, I really appreciate the support. And it's important, you know, it's important for when people create YouTube videos and we don't have the support, it, it just gets uh, demoralizing. But uh, when you get uh, a few people, and, and for me personally, even if it's a, just a handful of you guys that are really nice, that to me is a big, big success. So here we go. Here we are in the swamp. Enough chatty chatty. You're sure it's Let's talk to a House captain. House isn't emptying its coffers so you can chase your own tails out here. You pay the war claws well, because the war claws are the best there is. We have the kitten scent. It's just a matter of time before my warriors catch her. Of course, Ferrara. Just make sure she doesn't get out of the swamp. I'll take... Ah, the counselor's lackey. I understand you've made significant progress in your search for Vea. As a matter of fact, so have we. This whole ordeal will be over soon, and then you can be on your way. Outlander. Over? What makes you say that? My mercenaries have spotted Vea skulking about the northern portion of the swamp. Between my soldiers and Fair Haraz war claws, the counselor's daughter will soon be home safe and sound. And what do you know about Ulran's exile? Vea's brother. <laughs> it's a sad story. Killed one of his own soldiers to protect an Ashlander of all things. I think they were being too lenient when they simply exiled him. But that's how they treat the privileged few. Okay, so Vegas brother killed a Redoran soldier. Ulran always had an unnatural attraction to the Ashlanders and their savage ways. He felt that an Ashlander life was worth more than a Redoran life. The council didn't agree with his assessment. This will all be over as soon as Ferhara finds Vea. Okay, so Counselor Ares hired me to find his daughter, and that is what I plan to do. As you say, Fair Haraz war claws take their contract as seriously as you do, however. Get in their way, and I can't guarantee your safety. Well, we will keep that in mind. Oh, of course we will, so we need to uh, search for Vella and... Let me check again, shall we? Right, it's up there somewhere. I leave everything else to your discretion. And she's going to be there somewhere. So let's go there as quick as we can, really. And I think I'm going to go across the uh, swamp to go even quicker. But yeah, you know, the game itself is really, really nice. If you haven't played this game before, it's really, really cool. But as I said before, the quest's just so long. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed on that, but uh, as you can see, the graphics are really, really nice. One thing I would do for this game is to bring a bit more oh, coloration, if you like. It looks very dull and grey all the time, but uh, it is what it is, and I am happy with it. Just criticizing for the sake of it. Okay, so we need to find this uh, girl somewhere, and where is she going to be? Okay, I don't think it's going to be inside there. This is going to be the tricky part in here, guys, I think. Find this uh, girl hiding somewhere here. But, uh, oh, there she is. Stupid wall claws. By the three, you really shouldn't sneak up on a person like that. 
If you're working with those mercenaries, I assure you, you won't take me without a fight. I am working with Nairu. I have information concerning your brother. Oh, right. Now you mentioned something about that. Look, I can't wait to hear what you learned. But the swamp is crawling with mercenaries. There's a cave to the northeast. We can talk there. Okay, lead on, and I'll follow you. Unfortunately, there's a mob of those beast people between here and the cave. I was going to try and sneak past them, but every time I get too close, I think one of them catches my scent. All right, I deal with the warclaws. You get to the cave. You're going to tackle that mob of fur and claws. I'm impressed. Meet me at the cave when you're finished. I think we have a lot to talk about. Oh, and try not to get killed. I really want to know what you came all this way to tell me. Okay, I'll see you in the cave then. Meet me in the cave to the north when you finish with the mercenaries. Okay, we will do that, and we need to kill this dude in here. Okay, so we managed to do that, and the cave is going to be up here, that's really cool. So not too far to travel either, so let's do that very quick. Let's go in. So there's Veja. And let's talk to her. What do you think of my luxurious accommodations? It's got dirt and rock, fungus and a poultry fire. All the comforts of home. Anyway, you said you had information about my brother, Oran. What did you find out? Well, according to the House Red Run Registry, your brother Oran was stripped of his rank and exiled. No, that can't be right. Oran's honorable and noble. He's a model soldier. What could he have possibly done to warrant being banished? Well, according to Captain Brivan, Ulran killed one of his own soldiers to protect an Ashlander. What? My brother has always been interested in the Ashlanders, even showed them a kindness the rest of the house doesn't approve of. But for him to kill someone, especially one of his own soldiers, something terrible must have happened. Well, any idea where can we find these Ashlanders? They may be able to tell us about the incident. I know the tribe that Ulran liked to help, brought them supplies and such. He'd go and visit their camp whenever our father wasn't paying attention. Will you go with me to talk to them? Wait, someone's coming. Okay, get behind me. She can handle this, though. Get behind me, woman. Vea, grab your things. It's time to go. Go? Why? What's going on? The Warclaws are marching toward this cave along with half the House Redwin soldiers and Balmora. We need to go now. Damn it. They must have followed us. I'll get my stuff. I think, guys, that this Nario woman is not too... I don't know. A bit dodgy. Ah, dealing with an arrogant, impatient, overconfident young woman. Now I know how my mother must have felt. We need to move. It won't take those damn cats long to find this place. Not with their sense of smell. So what do you suggest? The back tunnels. Better than heading out the front door and right into the main contingent of Redder and troops. Councillor Eris brought additional soldiers from town. He's intent on getting his daughter, and he may have the numbers to do it. All right, so the back tunnels it is. One more thing. The back tunnels wind their way through territory that House Redoran recently acquired. We may run into some resistance, but it shouldn't be as bad as what's waiting outside the front of the cave. Okay, we'll have to be careful then. Okay, so uh, let's go. We need to get into the tunnels. Let's do that. Does the ceiling look unstable to you? And as you can see, just the quest tracks on and on and on. I uh, I get so impatient, guys, I really do. I like things to be a bit more quicker than this, uh, mainly because I know I'm very much aware that I'm doing a, a video. And I hate the fact that 
you know, people can get fed up of watching a dragging on for so long. But uh, uh, still, even if, if it Let's wasn't done for a video, I think it's still I think that's really, really long. And I don't think it's necessary, but there you go. It is what it is, and we need to get on with that. But uh, I like the infrastructure of these tunnels and things. They look really cool. Very, very cool. Right, so we are here. And we need to get that up here, so out. let's do that. I just hope there aren't any red runs up there. Okay, let's talk to Bella. Oh no. Father ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not going back without a fight. Okay, we will cause a distraction so you can get out of here. You you do that for me. Yeah, yes, come on. I guess. But what can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Well, your father hired me to find you and set up a meeting. A met as well, giving a progress report. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. Afterward, meet me at the Ashlander camp to the south. My brother would often visit that particular tribe. It's as good a place as any to start. So, will you meet with your father after you find your brother? Once I find Oran and make sure he's alright, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. And tell him to call off his soldiers, or I might change my mind. That should buy us some time. Okay, well, goodbye. And every go again, it just <laughs> goes on and on and on and on. Stand okay. Down. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. Tell me, have you seen my daughter? I won't sleep well until she's home, safe and sound. Hold on, I thought we agreed you wouldn't use any of the outsiders. I also said that the captain has his own resources. The War Claws report to Briven, not me. Look, we're all just trying to get my daughter home safely. Now. Tell me what Veya's thinking. Well, Veja will meet with you, but on her own terms. All these soldiers have scared her away. I think this guy is not very friendly either. It was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. So, where and when will Veya meet with me? Well, very soon. She asked me to do one more thing, and then she'll be ready to meet with you. Very well. We'll do this her way. Bea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Next time, I expect Bea to be with you. Or I might just let Captain Briven do this his way. I let her know. Do as I command, and let them pass. Okay, so uh, let's go up here very quick as well. And as you can see, the story is developing. And I don't know who writes all these storylines, but cracking. There must be really uh, nothing else to do, I suppose. Just, oh God, why not make this a bit shorter, dude? But there you go. Right, uh, we need to pick to uh, Veja, which she is here. Ashlanders, not with those tales. This is disturbing. I can't believe this. Why allow the war claws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Ridderin thinking? And what in the name of the three have they done with the Ashlanders? So are you sure this was an Ashlander camp? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. It used to be such a vibrant place. So full of life. I know House Ridderin wants to expand along the western coast, but I never expected they'd set the war claws loose like this. So do you think your brother and the Ashlanders are still here? If Olran was here, he'd never stand for the war claws invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. 
Different beliefs don't necessarily make people bad. We need to see if we can find out what happened here. Okay, we will look around and see what we can find. I really want to help, but Nariu won't hear of it. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. She's so fond of reminding me. We'll hang around and wait for you to find something before we move in. Okay, stay out of the way of the war clause until we find out where you produce. Vea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Redwind hands, remember? You're not my parents. Okay, so let's pick up all these little clues around the camp. Uh, that's the next thing. So it's a letter there somewhere. And it's supposed to be here something else. Right here in the tent, I believe. Yeah, right here. Oh, it's a person. <laughs> Dude. If I can smell you out, Lander, then you can well, I'm going to uh, uh, hurry up this a bit. So uh, if you want to uh, follow the storyline, just stop the video if you're watching it. And uh, uh, read it, because otherwise it's just going to be way, way too long. It gets a bit uh, too much, really. So uh, here's another one. The wise woman. Get the key. I have no doubt. Okay, so we now we need to find a key. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Okay, let me see. Okay, it's a key somewhere. And look at that. It's right here. That is the key. Very nice. And now we need to enter the mine. And that is why we needed the key. Okay, so we need to search this mine, but uh, I think, guys, that if we have another link to carry on with the quest, we are going to stop it here, I think, because uh, we already are in, in the half an hour mark, and it's getting really, really stupid now, and we will have to do a... What's going on? Why? I cannot... Oh, that's why. And that's what we need to do. We need to kill him as they... Um... Oh, hold on. Why can't I? Oh, dude. You're totally kidding me. Right. There we go. Hopefully now we can do it. Yes. Oh, that's the brother, by the way. Down here. Come on. And now we need to talk to this woman here. Vea, stay back. You don't need to see this. What happened here? Oh, gods. They murdered these poor Ashlanders. Oh, no. Auran. Auran. We can't. Please. Vea shouldn't have you had to see this. Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house councillor. Doesn't make any sense. Well, if he tried to defend the Ashlanders... I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment. But to kill a Redwin, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous even for the War Claws. I wonder if Eris knows about this. I'm not sure how Vea is going to get her answers now. Well, I found this speaking stone on Ulran's body. I've seen these before. They use them in Eastmarch to record and send important messages. They're expensive and as rare as a sober Nord. But Ulran was always attracted to the contrivances of other cultures. Shall we see what it has to say? Well, if it can shed light on what happened here, I say yes. Okay, so now we need to listen. To the speaking stone. Brother, is that you? Everything that happened was a deliberate act to discredit me. I need to report the events so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. Okay, very quick. You have to understand, I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. So, 
During my normal patrol, when I heard that Ashlanders had come to Balmera and were causing trouble, I was dubious to say the least. Okay, so let's listen to his message. I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them, called them savages. And I think I'm gonna hurry up with that as well. So I leave a few seconds so you can actually read it if you want. But uh, I think that uh, let's speak to Hannah. We are here, though. I agree with Ulran's assessment. Certainly sounds like someone led him into a situation guaranteed to make him fail. I can't believe he put this burden on Vea, though. What was Ulran thinking? So you don't think we should continue to investigate Ulran's death? I didn't say that. I'm just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against House Redrin. And we don't even have a writ to protect us. So what do we do next? I'm going to take Vea and head back to our safe house in Balmora. They found our cave, but the abandoned basement is still secure. After that, I'm not sure. The Morog Tong has rules. If I break them, I'll have to deal with the consequences. Well, tell me about the rules. We can't just kill. And again, I'm going to escape all these guys because it's just guys so so many. Um, I'm really hoping that this is nearly nearly the end because it really is starting to get a bit heavy now. And let's go quick there, speak to the counselor, and hopefully we will finish here. We are nearly in 35 minutes, guys. Super long quest. Okay, okay, so here we are, and we need to carry on again and try to sort this out for these people. And uh, I really hope that uh, they're not going to ask us to do anything else at the moment, because for the way it is looking, obviously it's going to be a third part at least, but uh, there you go, there you go. We need to try to do it as best we can and see what happens. Okay, let's find this guy very quick. May I be of service? And so the Outlander returns, as we discussed in the swamp. I expected you to return with Vea, or present me with a time and place for us to meet. Tell me, Outlander, which is it to be? Well, there were some complications. Complication? What kind of complication? I ordered my soldiers to stand down and let you do things your way. But instead of results, you bring me excuses. Well, your son is dead. He was killed during the House Redoran raid on the Ashlander camp. No, that's not possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never return. Why would he disobey me and go to those savages? Veja was with me. She confirmed it was her brother Uran. Vea was with you? And you left her out there? By the three, everything is unraveling no matter how hard I try to maintain control. I need you to do something else for me if you would, Outlander. Okay, what else? Tell my daughter I'm sorry. Tell her she needs to stay away until I can calm things down. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Promise me. And take this. Consider it payment for your efforts thus far. My god, okay. Uh, there you go. We have a uh, 200 bow, uh, 332 gold, and complete quest. And thank you god for that, guys, because Excuse me. it dropped it in 35 minutes, and as you can see, it's uh, very Once stupid. So I'm gonna hurry up this a bit red as well red red to pick up the next one, maybe. And then we can do that on the next episode, hopefully. So there you go, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and like. And I hope to see you on the next <laughs> very long quest. So there you go. Uh, please take great care.